The first essay we will discuss is Every Dictator's Nightmare by Wol Soyinka. Wol Soyinka was born in 1934 in Nigeria and is a fierce advocate for freedom and liberty. Today, Soyinka continues to be a strong political and cultural voice for freedom and against oppression. Published in the New York Times in 1999, the essay focuses on the idea that interested Soyinka the most, the idea that certain fundamental rights are inherent to all humanity. He talks about how the idea of the rights of man as a universal principle took hold and how the idea used by the American Declaration of Independence and the French Revolution has convulsed the unjust order of the world wherever it has been grasped. He claims that it is the fear of every dictator. And that is the thesis of the essay. The next excerpt, entitled On the Rainy River, was written by Tim O'Brien, a Vietnam War veteran. This excerpt is taken from his book, The Things They Carried, written in 1990. He casts himself as the protagonist in the story, although most of the story is fiction and does not represent what he actually did during his time of service. The story follows O'Brien as he is drafted into the war. He is embarrassed of the war and America's involvement in the war. Conflicted about whether to, whether to go to the war or not, O'Brien runs to the Canadian border where he hides out and meets Elroy Burdall, who lets him live with him until he makes up his mind. The main point of the essay is to show the embarrassment and shame that surrounded the war and those who were drafted and did not want to go to war. Many fled to Canada and were embarrassed to do so. They were conflicted about what the right thing to do was, and this book exemplifies that situation. Our final piece in politics was Shooting an Elephant. Written in 1936 by George Orwell, the piece describes Orwell's experience in Burma as part of the British imperialists. He is forced to shoot an elephant against his will after being pressured by the native Burmese. Working with the British imperialist, he was often subjected to a lot of pressure by the Burmese people to do things he did not want to, such as shooting the elephant. The main idea of the piece was for Orwell to show how much he hated imperialism because he felt it hurt both the native people and the imperialists. The story is full of symbolism and metaphors that help him exemplify this point.